All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys the whole process of putting new switches in my Ascendi 60% keyboard. When I bought the keyboard, I actually bought them stock with Gateron Blue Optical Switches. And I'm gonna be honest, they're very loud and very clicky, which is kind of what I was going for when I bought them, but it's definitely time to change it up a bit. I was experiencing um, in a few games, if I was playing for like a long extended period of time, my fingers definitely would get a little bit sore from actually pushing down um, the get around blue switches they require a bit more force than like the average switch to push down so if you guys are playing games for a while you guys are definitely going to notice the same thing as me if you guys have blue switches but if you guys are curious about this ascending keyboard at all i have a full review on this keyboard it'll be on the end screen of the end of this video if you guys want to check it out after but before we get too far into this video if you guys haven't already let the like and subscribe to the channel make sure to go ahead and do so and yeah let's go ahead and just jump right into the video all right so before we get too far into the process of actually changing these switches out i do want to go over over a few things about this keyboard in specific so if you guys are going to pick this keyboard up and you don't already have it I do want you guys to know that if you guys end up picking up this keyboard just know ahead of time that the PCB is only for optical switches so yes it's hot swappable you guys can take the switches out and put switches in that you guys want but they need to be optical switches and that's the key thing that you guys need to know about this you guys really don't get many options when it comes to optical switches and there's plenty of other keyboards on Amazon and other websites that have hot swappable PCBs that do work with any other switch but just in this keyboard in specific and also i believe the gk61 um, also has the pcb that only does optical switches but i actually ended up getting some switches that weren't available in stock with the keyboard because i kind of wanted to switch it up so i actually ended up getting gateron optical clear switches because i definitely wanted to go for like the opposite side and get some silent switches that also are very light to actuate i think gateron blues actuate at like 60 or 65 correct me in the comment section down below if i'm wrong but i know the clear actuated at, I believe 35 grams so it's definitely like a big difference between the two you're also gonna lose a lot of the clickiness when you go from the blue tactile switch to the clear switch but honestly for me I was really liking the clack that the clear switches gave this keyboard especially with the double shot PBT keycaps that I have on it it sounds really really satisfying but let's go ahead and just jump into actually switching all these out so you actually get a tool with the um, Aseni keyboard um, to actually pull the switches out but unfortunately the little metal puller let me see if I actually have it the little metal puller that you guys see in the video um, is actually just not the greatest like puller to have I would recommend you guys go pick up on Amazon like a full-sized um, keycap puller and switch puller as well because this little thing definitely can hurt your hands over a while and if you guys can see um, after pulling a bunch of switches out of my keyboard and changing them it gets bent too So it starts to like not work very well. Um, I actually have one um, coming in the mail tomorrow uh, an actual full-sized one So I'd highly recommend getting something like that and while you guys are at it I would also recommend getting a full-size keycap puller because the ones that you guys get like with keycap sets Definitely like hurt your fingers after a while and just don't work that well But essentially I'll show you guys on screen But you just take the two little metal prongs that come with either this or the full-size one you have Stick them on both sides of the switch and then just yank it out Also, I forgot to mention before but I will have the link for the Ascendi keyboard I will have a link for the clear switches as well in the description If you guys want to check out any of that and buy it for yourself the optical switches do go very fast on Amazon So if you guys want any of the options, I believe half of them are sold out I know that the yellow ones are sold out But I would highly recommend getting the clears if you want them because I know they go quick So after I literally got all of them out and then all of them back in um, I put all the keycaps back on as well, which is a little bit tedious, but the end result is absolutely amazing and I'll leave a little um, part in this video um, next that actually shows you the difference between the blue tactile switch and the clear switch. As you guys can tell, there's a pretty big difference between the two. Um, and it's definitely nice having the hot swappable PCB because you could literally switch back to the blues if you really wanted to and then switch back to the clears also. Or if you end up getting two keyboards, you could just have the two separate ones in each. Honestly, it really is up to you. Also, I'll make sure to have a full like typing test um, with the clears at the very end of the video if you guys also wanted to check that out. But overall, um, I played a bunch of games the other night and I honestly like these clear switches a lot more for gaming. The main games that I play are like CSGO and Valorant 
different and I think if you guys play those games that these switches is going to be a really good option for you guys. They are very, very fast switches and you guys are going to notice it right away. It's going to take a little bit of time getting used to these switches as well. And also just a heads up, these switches are so light that you guys are going to notice right when you get them. Definitely if you're switching from a tactile switch like the blue switches, you're going to notice that if you bump another key, um, a lot of the times you're going to end up, it's going to end up actually pressing that key just because they are so light. And honestly, I got used to it after literally typing for like 20 minutes on a typing test. I also have some O-rings right here, but honestly, the clear switches are so light that I honestly did not hear a difference at all with the O-rings. So I didn't really bother doing a, like a sound test with the O-rings for you guys. But I definitely recommend if you guys find the blue switches that you guys get with the keyboard too loud, then you guys could definitely opt for getting O-rings and putting those on the blue switches because that's definitely going to help with the sound of those. Just know that the O-rings are going to make the keys a little bit more mushy. And also, I did want to mention before I end this video that I actually have some Crytox lube coming in the mail very, very soon. So if you guys want to see a video, maybe lubing all of the clear switches and doing a sound test on that as well, just let me know in the comment section down below. I really like the feel of these switches and I feel like the lube might make them a little bit too mushy and might ruin a little bit of the clack that they have. But I think if I do the lube right and just put a very, very light amount on each key that it might make it a little bit smoother and again just let me know in the comment section down below if that's something you guys are interested in seeing and yeah i think that's going to be the video if you guys have any questions at all about these or about like optical switches or optical pcbs just let me know in the comment section down below and i will answer all the comments that i can i appreciate you guys for watching till the end i will catch you guys in the next video on the channel thanks for watching peace